Welcome back to our video module on the mechanics and materials. Today, I'd like to revisit our typical beam that we've done all sorts of things with. Rather than applying a stress, I'd like to change the temperature. Today, we're going to look at the effects of temperature on materials and try to understand it at a basic level. So as you can imagine, whenever we have a standard metal and we apply a temperature, it expands in some way. And this expansion is an expansion per unit length, so you have some sort of strain. Interestingly, unlike when we apply a stress, say we're pulling in a certain direction, we see this strain or this expansion happening in every direction. This expansion is different based on the material and the strain due to the temperature is alpha, which is the expansion coefficient for that material, delta T. So all we need to know is what type of material we're dealing with, the change in temperature that we're looking at, and we can find out what the strain is. Now there's a couple interesting characteristics about this. First, the strain in each direction is equal. The strain in X equals the strain in Y equals the strain in Z. Basically, you're going to have something expanding in every direction. Next, there's not really a stress involved with this. Rather, the change in temperature is the only thing causing the strain. Finally, I'd like to think our way through what would happen if we tried to fight this strain. We can imagine that we apply some increase the temperature, the beam increases in size, but we want to push it back. We want to apply some sort of applied stress in the X direction to make it so it's back to its original length. We're not so worried about what's happening in the Y direction. What we do know is that whatever strain that this stress causes should be equal and opposite to whatever strain is caused by the change in temperature. In other words, the strain we'll say due to stress should equal the strain due to temperature Strain due to temperature we know to be alpha delta T. The strain due to the stress is simply stress divided by the Young's modulus. I should note that I've played it pretty fast and loose here with the signs on these strains. I advise against making this a habit as you need to be extra careful in keeping track of the direction of your stresses and strains. So this is a slight twist on a superposition principle that allows us to understand how stresses develop in constrained geometries when the temperature changes. And this occurs often enough that it's worth noting. So in summary, there is a strain associated with the change in temperature. It's simply alpha, which is the coefficient of expansion for that material, times the change in temperature. And that strain is the same in every direction. 